Hey guys, uh, I'll be sitting down with y'all and talking about my top 10 favorite animated movies. Uh, these are just my opinion, of course, and yeah, let's get on to number 10. My number 10 spot's a crazy night. Okay, okay, don't unsubscribe, I swear, I swear. I know it's a terrible movie, but Jesus Christ, there's a whole amount of nostalgia for me because I watched that movie at the age of six, and I loved it, so yeah. Number 10 is Eight Crazy Nights for nostalgia reasons. <clears throat> Number 9, Paranormal. Okay, this movie is amazing. The stop motion work is phenomenal. And I was surprised to find out that Tim Burton did not direct it, surprisingly. Yeah, Paranormal is just a really good film. And yeah, it's just, it's just good. Guys, check it out. I, I can't find the words to describe it. The words to describe it is amazing. It's amazing. All right. Number, number eight, number eight, Coco. Now I'm not a big like Disney fan anymore because their live action movies are just terrible. And what? And I also don't like what they're doing with Star Wars, but I do think Mandalorian is a step up, so that's good. Coco's like the songs are catchy, the animation's beautiful, writing's good. It's not cringy, you know. Some new Disney animated movies are cringy. <clears throat> Ralph breaks the internet, but that's whole another video. I mean, I like Ralph breaks the internet, but there's some parts where it's just cringe fest. Just like with Endgame, do we really need freaking Thor playing Fortnite? Did we? I mean, like, yeah, okay, sponsorship, I guess, but that's terrible. <laughs> Anyways. Number seven, Aladdin. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. You're the only good genie. And no, not Will Smith. Now, the animation, like the others, is beautiful. Now, there are some parts where kids these days now probably won't get the references. I got like 50% of them, but, you know, research. But yeah, there's some references in this movie that kids might not get, so it doesn't really hold up that good. But it's like, from a filmmaking standpoint, and like, just in general, it's a good movie. Alright, number six, Batman Dark Knight Rises. Not the Christopher Nolan one, no. The animated one, um, based on the comic, now. I haven't read the comic, but I've seen both part one and part two of this. It's amazing, gorgeous, um, freaking brutal. It's brutal, man. And it definitely isn't a kid's movie, even though it's Batman. I think I think mothers learn their lesson from taking their kids to see Joker. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Number five, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. Nostalgia, I mean like animated series. Like, I grew up on that. Even the background for my profile is me holding up the Batman animated series DVD. Alright, number four, Nightmare Before Christmas. What hasn't been said about this movie? It's a classic. Moving on. A Simpsons movie. This movie's amazing, and I love The Simpsons anyways, so I mean, it's an automatic yes. This film's hilarious, the writing's clever, of course, it's The Simpsons. There's only one part in the movie that I didn't really care for, but the rest is pure comedy genius. Even has freaking Tom Hanks in it, in the probably most funniest cameo ever. Alright, number two, The Iron Giants. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Okay, moving on. Number one, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Ah yes, Fantastic Mr. Fox, filmed by Wes Anderson. Now, I'm a pretty big Wes Anderson fan. This movie is probably top three. This is based off the book by Roald Dahl that I have here. I haven't read this yet. I'm going to buddy read it with my friend Brian. This is beautiful. The writing, amazing. No cringy ones. Hilarious. And friggin' I... <laughs> the color is gorgeous. Just watch the movie, for Christ's sake. It's on Disney Plus, and it's on Vumu, uh, which is a free movie website. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my top 10 favorite animated movies. See y'all in the next 
video. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, yeah, it's October, so you'll be seeing spooky videos, and the only, and that's the last, well, that's the second non-spooky video. The last non-spooky video is my bookshelf tour. Yeah, so yeah, uh, bye, and subscribe if you want to. Alright, adios.